Farming is a bit of a chess match. Uh, you've, you've got to like a challenge. Um, you've got to like waking up every day um, knowing that things can change. Well, you can get up every day and go to a new job. Because <laughs> we do something different every day. I would say Swanee County and this area, the Swanee Valley area, has a lot of unique things to offer. Um, one is the, I mean, we have the Swanee River and the abundance of, you know, the fresh water that we have in Florida. And, you know, it, you know, there's not a lot of other, there's not a lot of other places that have the ecosystems and stuff like we have in this area. In addition to that, we have uh, the agricultural products that are raised in this region represent just a little over a billion of the eight billion dollars in agricultural sales throughout the state. You could just about point out any type of ag business and probably within a hundred miles of here, you can find one. Um, so it's just this area in the Swanee Valley has a, has a lot of lot to offer. A lot of times folks think of maybe South Florida as the area where the majority of the farmers would be, but in terms of sheer numbers, um, this is the area where the majority of the farmers reside. You know, the fact of sustainability and farms being passed from generation to generation, that doesn't happen by accident. That happens by people taking care of of the land and, and the environment that we work in. I'm fifth generation here, so there, there must be something good about it or, or we wouldn't be still here. You know, most people drive by and they don't truly understand, you know, the science and the art uh, that goes into this. And, and it's important to understand that there's more than just fertilizer being spread or seed being planted, that you know, the detail in terms of planting varieties, uh, plant populations, um, when to spray, when not to spray. I mean, it's all, it's pretty detailed and you sit weekly in meetings and try to, you know, put your heads together to make the right, right plan for the week ahead of you. It may be a new technology or it may be uh, a new cultural technique on the farm, but there's always going to be the drive and that progressive nature of our farmers to try to develop that. And um, there's gonna be an urgency about it as we continue to grow in our population here. And so that is a challenge and that's what we're going to need to work on in the future.